The rise in yields that, that we've seen, who's the biggest beneficiary? I think the U.S. dollar the is dollar. the biggest beneficiary, um, particularly because what this is going to do is it's going to convince investors to pare back some of the exposures that they've built up in the post-UK referendum period. That has tended to favor dollar selling, buying of emerging markets, buying of the commodity producers, and I think that those trades may unwind. Uh, I'm not sure that we're going to get uh, a real turnaround in terms of the trend as of yet. I think we need to wait for a stronger signal from the Fed. Uh, but in the meantime, as that positioning consolidates, I would expect the dollar to go up. Stronger signal from the Fed. Uh, we've got futures now down to about 15% for September. That basic, basically means it's not going to happen, right? I, I think that's what the market is discounting, and there remain questions uh, as to whether or not it's going to uh, happen this year. Um, but we need to wait on what the Fed is going to say. Uh, we're entering the blackout period in terms of uh, lacking any comments from Fed officials. Mm -hmm. uh, there's not much in terms of important U.S. data flow um, over the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, so what that means is we have a bit of a dovish uh, aftertaste uh, from the Brainerd comments that we had earlier this week. Um, but there's no real signals, I think, that are going to aggressively shift those expectations in the meantime. So, so Todd, if you look at what's going on with the dollar then and what you've just been describing, and then you, on the other side of the equation, you look at the steepening yield curve that we've seen in Japan. Mm. I mean, it feels very much like a well-placed leak has done exactly what they wanted it to do. Yeah, you know, the yen's gone down, <laughs> the yield curve has steepened yeah. almost uh, immediately. You know, you know I, I think the yen is actually a particularly tricky one because as you uh, allude to, there are some cross currents at work for the yen where the US dollar is rallying broadly. Mm -hmm. um, that is certainly going to exert some upward pull uh, on dollar yen, but I would actually be concerned um, that investors are getting a bit ahead of themselves, in particular uh, on any expectation uh, that we're going to see more creative policy steps uh, from the Bank of Japan.